welcome to this year's Vex Robotics competition, Tetra Tumble. The game is played on a 12 foot by 12 foot field covered in foam tiles. White lines help guide the robots during autonomous. The alliances start out at opposite corners. There are two teams, each with one robot per alliance. Each robot must fit inside a cube with a side length of 18 inches and be touching a tile of its alliance's color at the start of the match. Robots may push each other, but no robot may pin another against the field object for more than 5 seconds at a time. Adjacent to each alliance's starting tile is a 3 inch tall ramp, and in the center is a raised 3 inch tall square platform. 40 colored 5 inch wireframe tetrahedrons, or tetras, 20 per alliance, are placed in stacks of 5 on the central platform. Robots score these tetras alone or in stacks onto their colored starting tiles, which also serve as bonus zones. Alliances will receive points by stacking tetras of their color. The first tetra in a stack earns one point, the second earns two, the third three, and so on. Each tetra, regardless of whether it is in a stack, scores an additional point if it is touching or directly above the plane of a team's bonus zone. Any tetras that fall outside the field will be replaced by a referee. The game begins with a 20 second autonomous period, followed by two minutes of driver control. Let's see a match. Drivers, are you ready? Coaches, are you ready? Autonomous in 3, 2, 1. A blue robot is expanding to form a giant wall and is moving to block its opponents. One of the red robots is moving to the center platform and it knocks over all of the stacks. We have utter chaos after the autonomous mode. Let's see what happens when the drivers take control. It looks like one of the red robots is hoarding all of the blue tetras. One robot from each alliance is forming stacks in the bonus zones, while the other two robots are playing defense. The wall bot is blocking both of the red robots in their bonus zone, but one of them jumps the ramp and is back to moving around the field. The blue robot is too large to reach the red tetra stacks, but that red robot knocks over some of the blue stacks before retreating from the blue alliance's bonus zone. Oh boy, the score looks close. Let's tally up the points to see who won the match. Red Alliance wins the match.